وإذا الموؤودة سئلت بأي ذنب قتلت When the innocent little beautiful baby girl will be asked on the Yom Al-Qiyama for what crime she was killed Can you imagine? This is proven. The majority of children killed by their parents are girls. No one wants to talk about this war on women. This is a global war on women. The other uh, front of the war on women, there's many fronts, there's multiple fronts of the war on women, is when men appropriate the gender of women. When men think they can become women, like some sort of gender blackface. When womanhood becomes mockingly performative, this will systematically erase that which makes real women unique and distinct and precious. This is in the Quran. The male is not like the female. The Prophet Muhammad وسلم, he recognized this perennial problem in human society that people who don't believe in ultimate accountability will, opp will opp oppress others that are physically weaker. That's the law of the jungle. But we're not animals living in a jungle, we're human beings. We are insan. We have aql. There's something different about us. We don't follow the law of the jungle. We follow the laws of revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is why the Prophet said, Man kunna lahu thalathu banatin, yu'wihinna, wa yarhamuhunna, wa yakfuluhunna, wajabat lahu al jannah. The Prophet said, Whoever has three daughters and shelters them and has compassion towards them, and protects them, takes care of them. Jannah is wajib upon that person. Qila ya Rasulullah, wa in kanat ithnatain? Qala in kanat ithnatain. And they said to him, O Messenger of God, what if you have two daughters? And he said, even if you have two daughters. And then the narrator of this hadith, he says, he says, we were going to ask even if it's one daughter. And we were sure he would have said even one daughter. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Notice how he did not stop at shelter them. You shelter them. You have compassion, rahmah towards them. You take care of them, protect them.